Style Pasta Diner located in the Papa John Business Building is a cafe which offers hot and ready quick meals, pizza, and hot entries. Students often come to pasta between class, typically from the 11 a.m. to the 2 p.m. Pets should be typically students' one-stop convenience shop, but there are some problems because the following situation happen. Hey, Maddie, what's up? Hey, how's it going? Just, uh... Back in class, what are you up to? Right on, yeah, I'm just about to head to Pat to grab a hot meal and a coffee before oh, I go to class. What is the hot meal today? Uh, I don't know, I never know until I'm like in the middle of the line, so I'm gonna check it out. Oh, well, good luck. Thanks, yeah, I only got 10 minutes, so wish me luck. Good. Now I don't have time, but I have to go to class. Pets will benefit from a lesson in off management. To do so today, we have asked for help from our off management guru, Adam. Yeah, thanks, Jinko. I'm definitely happy to help out. Um, my name's Adam, and I'm the ops guru. And I there are two specific things with Pat Steiner that stick out to me as topics to discuss, and I'll just delve right into them today. The first one that comes to mind is capacity and really responding to inflexibility. So for Pat's Diner, the, the flow rate is actually pretty good. Um, given the fact that two people are able to staff the, the diner, it really helps people cycle through really quickly. However, the overall Pat's has a real trouble responding to inflexibility during peak times. So that's when we have a lot of people during the passing times, usually the 20 to 30 minutes of each hour it's really hard to manage the overall the lines that come even with a good flow rate. So what I recommend is that Pat's really looks into demand leveling and they can do this in two different ways. The first would be through offering daily specials to try and get students to come at times that are not during those those passing times. So they can offer specials from maybe 10 to 11 or 2 to 3 p.m. Secondly they could also use that time during the passing times to re Think about restaffing. So I would move people from their meal prepping stations as to um, different checkout areas so that people can really cycle through the line as fast as possible and they can really bump up that flow rate to tackle the lines. The second would be facility layout. Facility layout is going to be really important for PATS as it considers the best way to really prioritize its space as well as really incentivize students to use the diner area. I recommend moving from its original layout to its to a different proposed layout. So how Pats is set up right now is that it's a big area is used for its checkout and meal prep station. I would recommend that it actually shifts to a, a typical layout for most diner setup and that its kitchen and checkout is set up at the end of the diner and then the customers are able to wait in line and see the full product suite. What this does is it allows for maximum product exposure and it also enhances the customer satisfaction experience because, cons because customers are not trying to navigate for their products. They're also able to, um, they're able to see them clearly as well as wait in line and have maybe big product boards to see what the overall products will be. Using facil better facility layout as well as think about demand leveling will allow PATS to really amplify itself as a product for students and really become more of a convenient space on campus. So this is the advice given by Adam. How does that sound, Maddie? Sounds good to me.